Good morning everyone. Please excuse my messy house behind me. I have not organised anything <laughs> recently. Um, but it is Monday the 24th of September. It's just coming up to 8 o'clock so I'm just about to head off to work and the weekly vlogs are back. Um, I had intended to start them again last week but um, last week was just an absolute nightmare. Like it was just one of those weeks where everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. I was really not feeling great, I was feeling very low. Um, Will's car broke down and needed a lot of work done to it and it's still broken, even after paying all that money, so it's still in the garage now. Um, I ended up in A&E after a routine doctor's appointment because they thought I had a blood clot on my lungs. It was just a really stressful week, so I scrapped the idea of starting the weekly vlogs again last week and I'm starting this week. Um, I don't know how interesting it will be, we're still sort of settling into the new house and I'm settling back at work. I actually start uni again tomorrow, um, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Happy Monday anyway. No wonder I'm cold, look at that temperature. That's got to be the lowest it's been in a long time. Oh my gosh, it is freezing this morning. It's three and a half degrees. It's so cold. Like, the weather is just, it's typical like changing seasons at the moment. It's freezing cold in the morning and then by the afternoon it's like 20 degrees again. So yesterday you'll have seen that I went into town and then I didn't really film anything after that. Um, I normally would work a full day on a Monday but I changed my days around. So at 12 o'clock I finished and I was gonna go see my mum but um, she was already at the hospital with my dad for one of her oncologist appointments. So I decided to go into town instead and start my Christmas shopping, which is quite early for most of you, I'm sure, but I like to start early and spread the cost. Um, I'm really cutting back this year because we really want to go to Walt Disney World next year. And if I'm going to afford it with my student loan, then I need to really cut back on everything this year. So. I won't be giving out loads of Christmas presents like I normally do, but I did buy a few bits. Um, but I couldn't show you any of them because they are all for people who will probably watch the video. <laughs> so um, I couldn't show you. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And then when I came home, I was so tired and so cold that I just wrapped myself up in a blanket and loads of jumpers and big fluffy socks and just laid on the sofa with Archie watching YouTube videos <laughs> all afternoon. So yeah, that wasn't particularly interesting for you. Um, but today is absolutely hectic. I've got work until 12. Then I've got to come home, pick up the dogs, go to agility, um, and then come back home again, drop off the dogs, and then go back to work for some safeguarding children in education training, and then go straight from there to university. So it's a bit of a crazy day. <laughs> I'm going to be knackered by the end of it. I hope I'm going to manage it all, but it'll be fine. And I'll try and bring you along as much as I can. Good morning, all. Here I am. Just putting in a healthy dose of reality into this vlog. <laughs> it is ten past seven on Wednesday morning, and I really, really don't want to start getting ready for work. So I'm just sat here wondering how late I can push it. But really I don't have time to be doing this because my friend is coming around straight after work today. So I need to try and tidy this place up a bit before I leave as well. <sighs> I just can't be bothered.
Hi guys, so today is Thursday and I can't even remember if I've already spoken to you today but I don't think I have. It is 20 past four and I've just got home from work. I went on a school trip today which was actually really nice, it was really enjoyable um, and it's left me in a much better mood than I've been in the last couple of days. Um, I wanted to start weekly vlogging again this week to give me a little bit of like focus and routine back, um, to encourage me to be productive because I'd be filming. Um, and sadly I've just had a really bad week with my mental health, I've really not been in a good mood at all um, and I might go into that more in a tea time with Chloe or something, I don't know, maybe I won't go into it but we all have bad weeks and at the moment I'm just going through a bit of a rough time with everything that's going on with my mum and just some other stuff as well and all of the stress of the summer has just kind of hit me now that I'm back at work and I think it's because in the summer I was like go 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 all the time, got to look after mum, got to go to hospital appointments, got to pack up the house because we're moving and then when it was the end of the summer then it was like got to pack for the holiday, we're going on holiday and it was just like it was crazy, the holidays couldn't have been at a worse time, um, I've never not wanted to go on holiday before but like now we're like when we came back from the holiday and I went straight back to work then it was like oh well, now things are supposed to be normal, but they're not normal at all. Um, and now I'm feeling all of those emotions that normally I probably would have felt over the summer when everything was sort of at its worst and at its most stressful. But anyway, I've ended up going into it when I wasn't going to go into it at all, but that's just typical of me, isn't it? Um, anyway, so I've actually been really quite down this week and spent a lot of time talking things through with Will and being quite upset and just not really wanting to film um, and also uh, Tuesday was absolutely hectic as you know and then yesterday my friend spent most of the afternoon here what are you doing Archie? <laughs> my friend spent most of the afternoon here and then I was just exhausted the rest of the evening so I didn't film but today I've been on a school trip it was really lovely the weather is beautiful I'm feeling okay Archie's creeping um I've just come home, I've got about 20 minutes before I have to head off to uni again. Thankfully this won't be a regular occurrence, I won't have to go twice a week every week. It's just for this first week. What are you doing? Um, and yes, yeah, so I've got about 20 minutes before I have to go to uni, so I've got changed. I'm having some crisps and a cup of tea, watching a YouTube video and I'll be off. He's a silly little sausage. You silly sausage. Sorry if the camera jiggles around, Archie's laying across my arm. There you go, <laughs> he's just knocked it already. But um, a lot of you asked about my masters and when I shared a little bit about it at the end of last year, people were quite interested in it. And I asked for um, suggestions of what I should do for my tea time, with, whoops, tea time with Chloe videos. And a couple of people actually said on Instagram and in the comments on that video that they'd like to know more about what I'm doing at uni. So I went back to uni on Tuesday and one of my modules this year is a paleography module about local history. So we're meeting at the local records office and we're going through local records and it's all about transcribing these old sources. So this, I know it looks like an alien language, but this is actually an alphabet of all the different ways that certain letters might be written. Um, and then there's just like some abbreviations that I might come across um yeah this just looks like an alien language um and then we were given some oh no that's a bibliography we were given some sources to start with so this one's a super easy one um and I'm sure that lots of you even looking at this would be able to read it so it says these are to certify whom it may concern that the house of Thomas Jackson in Basingstoke in Wote Street in the county of Southampton in the diocese of Richard Lord Bishop of Winchester is designed to be a meeting house for religious worship of Protestant dissenters from the Church of England calling themselves Baptist as witness our hands this 16th day of June 1729 and then that's all their names so that one's a, like a nice easy one but then we get on to this and it's just crazy like to be fair though, now I'm looking at it, having already gone through and transcribed a lot of it, I can actually like read this now, but when they first put it in front of me, and I'm sure for some of you as well, like 
it's really hard to pick out like even a single word and then they just gradually got harder and harder <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um yeah you do get used to it quite quickly i've only had one lecture so far and i really enjoyed it so i'm hoping that that's going to be good and then the lecture that i'm going to today um is all about researching for our dissertations, which seems like a bit of a waste of time because everyone there has already written a dissertation because I'm pretty sure you have to have done like a normal bachelor's degree to go on to a master's level, but maybe that's wrong. I don't think it is, but I'm pretty much 90% certain that everyone there will have already written a dissertation before. So it's really annoying that you always have to have a research module every year, but it's fine, we'll go, I'm sure it will still be helpful. Um, and we have to set up a blog as well and we have to post about our progress with our, with our dissertation to our blog. So if we're allowed to make those public, then maybe I'll share that with you so that you can see what I'm up to because quite a few of you have genuinely expressed an interest in it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to meet the administrator and she's gonna show us how to set up these blogs and yeah. Got some lovely cowies, cute little cows. This is right opposite where we live now. And there's little cows, and they roam free on the common, so you kind of have to be careful. But as you can see, they're not fussed about dogs at all. But I don't think my two have ever really seen cows before, <laughs> so they're a bit frightened. Oh, is it cows? Yes, actually. I'm looking like a right scruff today um wow um yeah we have had a bit of a busy morning I've cleaned the whole house cleaned out all the rabbits then we have had a behaviorist come round to speak to us about Archie's um fear of having his nails clipped and stuff and she was really helpful um don't ever feel ashamed or embarrassed to seek the advice of a behaviorist or a trainer because if you find a good one, they are like gold dust and they can be so helpful and it, it doesn't make you a bad owner if you have to seek advice. We all have problems. Nearly everyone has a dog that has some sort of issue and Archie's fear of the groomers and having his nails clipped and stuff was making life really difficult for all of us. So I've sought some advice about it and I think we can crack it, can't we, Archie? He's like, no, I don't think we can. I'm going to hide over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was really helpful. Now, well, I've been sat um, following all of the craziness of the ticket sale for the UK Planner Annex Big Meet. It's in February 2019 and if you don't know, I'm on the committee, although I haven't really been able to do much thus far this year because of everything that was going on with my mum in the summer. Um, but hopefully, now that things are a bit more settled, um, I can get into helping with that a lot more and I'm very excited. The tickets sold out in three minutes which is crazy, so yeah. Um, so I've been following that. I'm editing some footage. That's why you can hear my laptop in the background sounding like it's gonna take off because it's an old laptop, but it's the only one that I can export footage from. So I'm, I've been doing that. And now I'm gonna take the dogs out on a walk. Here we go, I'm being brave. Although I can see someone up ahead walking already. So that's not making me feel great because I suspect they've got a dog with them. <laughs> The problem is this place is always so busy. But I've let Archie off because he needs the exercise, he needs the proper run. Um, he's having a little sniff. I can hear the cows mowing. Narrowly avoided one on the way in. Come on, Arch. It's beautiful though. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Winnie can't go off the lead because she's a savage and she never comes back. But Archie's recall is really good. I just worry about other dogs. But I'm gonna let him have a little sniff, have a little explore, just try and have a nice walk. And yeah, I've got my coat on today 
instead of bringing a bag with me, even though it's quite warm. Um, I've bought my coat because it's got pockets in, so I've got treats and poo bags, and my phone was in my pocket, so I didn't have to carry a bag, and it means I've got my hands free, apart from Winnie. I'm thinking of get one, getting one of those belts that you can clip dog leads to so that I can have my hands totally free and I feel like that will make me feel a lot better if my hands are free so I'm not like scrabbling for stuff all the time and if anything were to happen my hands would be free to like grab the dogs or whatever but yeah off we go so we've had a nice little walk so far They've had a growl at um, one dog that was barking at them and I've just gone to go back towards the entrance and there is a cow blocking the gate. Now I think, <laughs> I think he's walked away now. So we might be able to make a break for it but I might actually give the dogs one more loop because we haven't been out very long. This was just kind of like a little tester walk because they're both quite tired after the behaviourist was here anyway. But yeah, the, the cow keeps blocking the gate and when he saw me come in, he came, well she probably, came out and mooed at me really loud. So I feel like she did not want me there. You'd think they'd be totally used to people and dogs because they're just here all the time. But we're going to do another little circuit quickly. Archie's back on the lead because like I say, we just saw another dog. It was obviously a friendly dog, but it came running over to say hello and Archie was fine but Winnie started barking at it so then Archie has to join in obviously of course um, so yeah oh there's a little dog up ahead but he's not interested good good let's hope that mine don't get interested either see Archie's pretty good oh I thought you were going to the toilet Winnie you are going to the toilet okay I'm filming lots to uh, distract me from my anxiety and it's kind of helping um, the one good thing about the common is that there are lots of spots where it's like mainly wide open space so you can see if something's coming um, and also sound travels well over open space you know so you can kind of hear if something's coming too generally the only thing is that the cows really do blend in with um, the undergrowth which makes it quite difficult to see them but other than that, it's not too bad. I do get nervous when he runs up to like an open bit like that though and I can't see what's coming on the other side. So I tend to get him to hang back before he gets to there. Archie. Oh, we have to wee on everything, don't we? Archie, wait. Okay, you stay there a second. I'll have a quick look. Okay, Ooh, there's tractors down here. Hmm. It's nice to explore this area though because we haven't yet. Hmm, let's go down here. This is nice, isn't it, Archie? I bet this place is going to be full of cows. <laughs> we'll That's see. Lovely. This is. Oh, what was that? This is lovely, this is like a little fairy glen or something. Very pretty. Winnie's desperate to be off lead, but I just cannot trust her. <laughs> oh, Winnie's got herself caught. Silly girl. Well, I didn't film then because I actually got a bit worried. Because um, I seemed to lead us on like a wild goose chase through all these bushes. Um, I didn't actually have a clue where we were going to come out, so that was quite fun. <laughs> but I think I'm going to head back now. I'm not sure how long we've actually been out, but um, it's been nice. So hopefully it will stay that way until we get back. And yeah, Archie's having a lovely time anyway. Winnie, I'm not so sure as much. She'd like to be off in the bushes exploring, but... Hi guys, it's actually Tuesday now so I haven't 
filmed properly for a couple of days. I don't think I filmed yesterday at all. Um, and I'm just gonna lump these vlogs together because <laughs> it's turned into a bit of a hectic um, week again. Um, yeah, so it's Tuesday. I've been to work and I'm now taking the dogs to agility. Um, but I've just been over to my mum and dad's house to say goodbye to my brother who is going to Australia for six months to play cricket. He is um, very good at cricket and he's going to play for an Australian team for six months. And I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. I cried when I said goodbye to him earlier. I think a lot of people aren't necessarily that Obviously, loads of people are very, very close to their siblings. They, for the most part, have this like very similar life experiences as you. You have all that shared experience of having your childhood, your upbringing together and stuff. For the most part, I know that people are friends with their siblings, but I think that a lot of people in adulthood um, obviously don't spend as much time with their siblings anymore once they've moved out and stuff and like wouldn't necessarily be that upset about them going away for six months but I'm so upset about it. Maybe it's because I'm the oldest and I'm the only girl and I feel like I've sort of been trying to hold the family together a little bit this summer and now the timing just couldn't be worse that he's heading off to um, Australia, but it's an incredible opportunity that he's waited a very long time for. So obviously he had to go despite the timing um, of my mum being diagnosed with breast cancer and everything. So yeah. He goes tonight, but it was my last chance to see him on the way home from work today because I have university tonight, so I can't go to the airport. So I'm upset about that too, but yeah. Hello, it is Thursday and it's just coming up to about half past two. Hi Archie. Of course, whenever I start filming, he has to join. Hi. You been outside? Um, so, I am starting to feel a little bit better now. These vlogs have been rubbish this week because I obviously um, have had a cold and everything and I just really wasn't feeling up to filming but I'm starting to feel a little bit better today um and hopefully that means I can get back on track track with things um I stopped at garden center on my way home from work today because I had a feeling that their Christmas stuff would be out and I was right so I took a few little clips for you which I'll pop in now So yeah, I felt so festive when I came out. The reason I like really wanted to go and look at Christmas stuff was because today in the classroom, um, the kids were, you know, working away and it was quite dark outside. 
Hayachi. It was quite dark outside and the classroom just felt really cosy, all the lights were on, um, we were all in our jumpers and stuff and it felt really cosy and all of a sudden I just felt so festive all of a sudden and I've spoken before about how I personally believe that Christmas has a feeling, at least for me anyway. I feel like the air smells different at this time of year. I feel like everything is just different at this time of year and yeah I just had that Christmas feeling come over me and I was like oh I really want to go and look at like some Christmas decorations so I stopped at a garden centre on the way home and I picked up um, those three little mushroom toadstool decorations I think I showed you. I really liked those and I love Gisela Graham I think her decorations are beautiful. I actually have a few of them. She did like a Disney inspired range as well. I think it was Alice in Wonderland that she definitely did. I'm not sure if there were any more. And my nan actually bought me two of those Alice in Wonderland decorations last Christmas and I love them. So <laughs> I had to pick up those little um, toadstools and they had loads of other decorations by her, but I didn't want to go too mad. Um, I don't need any more decorations, but I just couldn't resist them. Ow, Archie, you're on my hair. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is that. Also, I came home from work today to these. These are from Aurora's Ears and Boutique. Boutique, as in B-O-W-T-I-Q-U-E. Um, and I ordered these because she had this Alice in Wonderland Kath Kidston fabric on a, like, weekly... £10 fabric offer thing and she had a few of these ears available so I bought some with a red sequin bow and I love them, they are super cute. Um, I originally picked them up thinking I might wear them on my Christmas trip so I may take them with me for Christmas although I kind of like the idea of having some like proper Christmas ones. I just kind of bought them because they were £10 and to add to my collection that I is rapidly growing. Um, I actually have two more pairs of ears coming that I ordered when we got back from um, Paris at the beginning of September. They've now been dispatched um, and I bought those because I had been hoping to fit in a Halloween trip but finances will just not allow it because the Eurostar and the plane is pretty expensive when you can only travel at weekends or in the school holidays. I was going to try and fit in an overnight trip in October half term now that my mum and I are not going to New York anymore but sadly not. You're a needy little nugget. You're a needy little nugget. Thank you. But yeah, so I have another new pair of ears and I have two more coming that I will show you when they arrive. Oh, cutie. Another day, another ear delivery. Oh my gosh. Look at these. So these are by a company called Made for Mouse. Um, oh, look at the little hearts. Um, I saw her stuff on Instagram and was just absolutely obsessed. Um, and originally I was hoping to go back to Disneyland Paris for Halloween, but I'm just not gonna have the finances all the time, I don't think. So um, I ordered these ears when we got back from Paris um, because I had hoped to go at Halloween and the Cheshire Cat is always out at Halloween and like I said yesterday Alice in Wonderland is one of my all-time faves but um, yeah unfortunately I'm not going to get a chance to go but I had already ordered the ears so I will just have to keep them for a future trip but oh my gosh oh my gosh look at those so these are obviously Cheshire Cat and these are Pooh and Piglet oh excuse what I look like but I wanted to show them on so these are the Pooh Bear ones look at them oh my gosh the only thing I would say about them is the band does feel a tiny bit flimsy like they're a little bit like you can shake them around they're a little bit flimsy but 
considering I swap my ears when I'm on a trip and they probably won't be worn for that long um, and they were a really reasonable price oops they were 16 pounds each I'm really not too bothered by that at all I'll just make sure I'm careful with them and then these are the Cheshire Cat ones oh my gosh I am obsessed oh my gosh they are absolutely amazing <laughs> hi guys so i've been a bit rubbish with filming the last two days but i just wanted to come on and end this vlog here because i really need to get it edited now there's a lot of footage from the last two weeks and um, we've got a super busy day today but it's just all boring chore type things the food shop need to go and get rabbit food <laughs> all that sort of thing so um yes we will see you next week won't we archie say bye <laughs> bye guys